Hello, this is Thibaut for another video. Today we're gonna see an animation for a menu and we're gonna do it with Bricks Builder with some CSS and JavaScript. So actually I got uh, a question in the Facebook group of Bricks if uh, I, we could have a tutorial for a full screen menu with a clip pad some animation and an entry animation for the menu items. So I prepare something for this. So let's see the result. You can see already. And refreshing. So you see I have a page and when I'm opening the menu, I have a clip path animation, some small animation for the menu items. And when I close the menu, it's closing the menu with the clip path. So uh, now let's see how to do to, to, to do that. But first, let's look, look a bit at the code. So, um, first thing we need to understand is that the navigation, when you open it, it's adding a bricks open class. And then when you're closing, this bricks open class is disappearing. So, that's one thing to remember. So here is the code that I've used. So first let's start with the CSS. So it's quite straightforward. So I'm creating a class clip open with an animation to which is called clip open also, which will uh, last for one second with a is uh, easing and uh, forward so the new animation stay as it is when it's done so the animation the keyframes that i'm using is a clip path quite easy to understand a circle which is zero percent and it's located on the x of a x at 50 percent and at zero percent on the x of y uh, not exactly 0% on the X of Y, but you will, it's on the top of the screen. Uh, and then I'm moving to 100%. So at the end, so the end of the animation, so the circle will be 150% big and still at the same location. Then I'm creating a, also another class, which is called clip close. So I'm animating it the same way as the opening one. And I'm doing the opposite of the click open. So clip path at 150% and to end with a 0%. But in order to add those classes, uh, I've added some JavaScript. We will see the menu items uh, um, animation a bit later. So why is JavaScript? Because I haven't used the, the, the Bricks interaction for one reason. Um, first for consistency, because I could partially use uh, a Bricks interaction, but not for everything. So instead of having a bit of um, interaction and a bit of JavaScript, I prefer to do all in JavaScript. So, um, and why? interaction could not be done is basically you could you can add an inter an interaction to add the class clip open then when you you can have another interaction to uh, when you are on to to you keep you you click on the toggle it close it activates the clip close class. But then when the clip close class, when the toggle is uh, closed, the clip close class is still there, which is creating uh, um, confusion in the browser because the clip close and the clip, the clip close class is still there. So when you click on the opening toggle, by the way, the toggle, it will work if the toggle, the close and the, and the open one will be the same, but actually they are not. So when you start, you want to reopen the menu, 
it will create confusion because it will add a clip open when there is already a clip closed. So the browser cannot understand that. So what I had to do is to rebuild a bit the, 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 the close menu uh, toggle, actually. Actually, I'm not using the close menu toggle. I'm, I've deleted it. And as you can see, I've created a, a close menu, a div with an icon. So let's see how, or how it looks like. Uh, but it's the, it's the close icon anyway, so no, no, no need to see. But basically, what I'm doing in this JavaScript is um, I need to remove the class open after a, a certain moment. Because, um, let's see the code, it, in order to avoid confusion to have both Clo uh, the both class at the same time. So you see, let's see the code. So on this one, you see clip open and then it's dis disappearing. Because what when I'm gonna if I I still have the 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 clip open class active. The close open class won't work because there is a, 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 a confusion in for the brother browser, sorry. So what basically I'm doing JavaScript is uh, sorry, I'm not a, 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 a master at JavaScript. I do what I can do with the small knowledge that I have. But still, JavaScript in the end is for basic things is not that complex. There are a few things you need to know. So when you start the code, you need to um, declare your elements that you're gonna uh, use. Otherwise, if you don't tell the, the program that this element is existing, the, the program doesn't know. So you have to tell them, hey, this is existing. So please, please, please create. So on the open menu, I've give an open div um, class and it's called open menu. Same on the toggle close, well, not toggle close, but on the close closing icon, I gave the class of close div. Then on which I'm activating the clip path is the on the class together with the bricks nav nested items. And I need to remove also the bricks open. Like we will see later why. But we, we have to declare the bricks uh, nav nested elements. So because we will have to remove what we saw before the bricks open class. So basically what he's doing, so I'm creating an event listener on the open menu. So when there is a click, it add the class clip open. So we saw the clip open. So it's starting this animation. So opening the, the path, the clip path. But after one second, so a thousand milliseconds, we remove the clip open on the next item. So on the bricks navigation nested item so that's first then on the second one when we close so i'm creating an event listener on the close item and after one second so basically also please be careful if you put one second i mean in in javascript it's a thousand milliseconds it will have to correspond to the length of your animation so if your animation is uh, one second long, then you should you should make it corresponding. So again, so when I'm clicking on the close menu, it's remove, removing the clip close class after one second, but it's also removing the bricks open class after one second. Let's see what's happening if we don't have this. 
so I'm commenting this one okay so I'm refreshing so it's opening no problem it's closing no problem but when I want to reopen the the the, the menu it's creating a confusion because the, the, the clip close class is still here. So I'm going to open and right away it's going to close it. So that doesn't work. So that's why I need to close to, to, to get rid of the clip close um, class. But then you're going to ask why are you, you taking away the bricks open class? So let's see the result. If I don't remove the bricks open. So I'm refreshing. Okay, it's opening. It's closing with the flash. But I can't reopen. Because the bricks open basically is still here. And the 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 menu doesn't know how to to, to it's still open, but the bricks menu nested items is is hidden. So that doesn't work. So let's reput the line to remove the bricks open class. And is it working? Is it still working? Yes, I can close. I can open. I can open and reclose. No problem. I change position it's opening it's closing no issue so um that's for the first part uh, for the second part is the animation of the menu items basically on the for the menu items so let's see the menu items uh let me see so on each menu item so on the nav link i gave a link nav class then in my code when the i'm animating the menu item when there is the bricks open class so we saw that we when we open the menu it's adding the bricks open class so the link navigation class will start an, uh, uh, an animation that will uh, translate the, the, the position from minus 200 pixels. So because I put the, the link navigation at uh, minus 200 pixels on the left and it's going to translate it to the right. So at original position, so translate x0. But then there is a small trick for you see because there is a small delay you know you see for each of the item of the menu for this it's quite simple so i've added um an attribute to delay the the um, the animation so basically on the first one there is no um no attributes because I'm not changing anything. But on the second one, I'm adding a style attribute with an animation delay of 0 0.1 seconds. Then on the third one, a 0 0.2 seconds. Fourth one, 0 0.3 seconds. And the last one, I'm adding a delay of 0 0.4 seconds. So, um, that's giving the effect that we have uh, when we open the, sorry, the navigation. So thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you learned something. Uh, by the way, I will uh, make try to make the um, the code, uh, the template available for you so you can download it. So thank you again and. Uh, See you next time for another tutorial.